Gonna do some leash work with Hudson. Sit. Good. When he's at your side, you want that leash to be about 90 degrees. His wart's starting to talk to that collar. Bend at the elbow. And then relax your hand down. If he's breaking position and you're getting ready to do a turn on him, like a 180, you're gonna slide all the way up to your face or so. Lock your fingers in, put your hands down. That way he doesn't feel you about to turn. But typically when he's at my side, not doing much, I'm going to be at 90. And if he goes to sniff or something, I can do a quick left. Heel. Nope. Because I don't have too much slack in there either. Remember when you're walking, you want to think straight lines and 90 degree angles. I don't want a lot of round turns that give him too much chance to notice that you that you turned like right there he missed that so i got him for it and he is pretty advanced right now so i'm not going to give him much time to catch that i turned some dogs need a little more time to realize it some dogs can be plenty sharp if you require it and he's definitely to that point the bow white but you can see he should be back far enough that I can do it easily do a left turn because his shoulder is not past my leg and he usually settles back to nose to leg even he really likes to have someone else lead he's pretty chill once he figured out what we were asking he's happy to do it here I'm going to double length because I'm going to get ready for a turn he caught it I looked back at him come on good boy try it again he's there so I'm not going to correct if he wasn't he would still continue the other way and I could pop my hand forward quick. Good, shorten back up to 90. Good boy. You shouldn't have to say anything when you're about to turn. That dog should be watching that leg enough that he doesn't miss it and he's coming with. That's what we're kind of forcing him to do with all these turns and slow ups and stops. Is to pay attention. Yeah. 